the Joe Rogan experience. So when you, you, you asked about dumb moments, though, but, um, you know, I had one where I had this, like, cascading sense of flood of love. Toward, and I was thinking about my family. I was thinking about my son and my wife and my parents. And, and you know, it sounds, like, so banal. And one of the things that happens is that these platitudes that love to the everyday wonders. And psychedelics, you know, softens those habits and, and, and helps you get out of those grooves. And for me, that was really useful. And uh, it's only, I think it's the experience of ego dissolution that allows you to, because your ego enforces those habits. And you get a little break. There's a beautiful metaphor. One of the scientists I interviewed in the book, a Dutchman working in an uh, in Imperial College in London, he said, think of your mind as a hill covered in snow, and your thoughts are sleds going down that hill. And after a while, after a lot of thoughts have gone that hill, there'll be these grooves, and they're going to get deeper and deeper. And at a certain point, you can't go down the hill without slipping into those grooves. Ah. That's who we are as we're like, you know, at this age. And um, what psychedelics do, he said, is, is flatten the snow, lots of fresh powder. Ah. And you can then take the sled any way you want to go. That's a great way of Isn't describing it. I've always talked about predetermined patterns and grooves that people fall into. So it's amazing hearing him say it that way. But that's a much better way of describing it, like snow. Yeah. The sliding these thoughts down these already existing patterns. That's amazing. That's, you know, what you said about love and, and, and being cynical, that's so important, too, because there's something that's – something that people are – they avoid sincerity. Like it, it, there's something about it that it makes you too vulnerable or too exactly. open to criticism or too open to ridicule. And we're worried about being sincere. And I do think that that's one of the primary benefits of psychedelics. Yeah. We live in an ironic culture yeah. and we defend ourselves against strong experience or self-exposure by adopting this stance that's ironic and uh, cool. Yeah. And um, psychedelics is not a cool experience. It's the opposite. Well, it's cool when it's over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's it's serious stuff. 